<laughs> so I'm a transit bus driver in Sacramento, California. This is the interior of the bus that I'm driving today. So I pulled up to a bus stop, opened the door, and there was a person standing there. That's why I stopped and opened the door. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And they were asking me about a different bus route, like what time does that bus arrive at that stop? Because this bus stop was served by multiple bus routes. So I informed them that I did not know what time that bus would arrive there. And they were like, you're a bus driver. I don't understand how you bus drivers don't know what time the buses arrive. And here's a little secret. I don't even know hardly what time the next bus arrives on the route that I'm driving. What? because we don't memorize all of that stuff. We don't take home all of the bus schedules and memorize them. There are some timetables that we may memorize, and there's probably a few bus drivers that somehow have every single schedule memorized. But keep in mind, some transit systems can have hundreds of bus routes. Here in Sacramento, this isn't even a big city, and I think we have like 60 or 70 bus routes. I have to count again, I could be wrong, but it's somewhere up there, like at least 60, it might be more. So it's not really possible for us to memorize all of that. That's why bus drivers don't know, we don't be knowing all of the schedules, but there are resources available. Most transit systems have a website that will generally have all of the schedules on the website. He ain't lying. Also, most transit systems have a customer service line that you can call, and those people are available to look up everything they will look up your trip they will plan your entire trip start to finish give you all the times all the routes you need to take everything bus drivers we really don't have time while we're running a route to plan a trip for you or to figure out timetables so sometimes we'll just lead you in the right direction so you can get the answers to the questions that you have and some people consider that rude Man, the bus driver just couldn't tell me what time you just couldn't tell me i don't know i apologize but i'm trying to give you the customer service number i'm trying to give you the website I'm trying to give you information so that you can get the information that you need so yeah keep in mind we don't know all of the bus route timetables that's a lot of timetables this is one bus schedule right here in sacramento let me flip it over this is the other side i'm supposed to memorize all of these times i'm not running all of these times this right here is my paddle or my schedule these are the only scheduled times that i'm operating on this route this paper has been through a lot but yeah, this is me right here. And I know what some of you are probably saying, like, well, why are you up here filming videos? You can be memorizing the bus schedules. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Do you know how much time it would take for me to memorize all of the schedules? No, 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 no. And then here's the thing. They adjust the schedules as well. So sometimes the schedule will completely change. They will add and subtract trips. They will adjust the times. That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So by the time you get everything memorized, they've adjusted and changed the schedule again. So now I have to re-memorize a whole new schedule and then they may change it again within six months or something. It's just unrealistic. We can't memorize the entire schedule. Now we should know some information, some general information, and honestly, the knowledge that you gain about the transit system comes with experience. So a newer driver may know less than someone who's been driving for five years or 10 years. Also, like me, when I first started driving in Sacramento, I had no clue where anything was at. You wanna know why? Because I'm not from California. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 414. So I moved out to Sacramento driving a city bus in a city that I had no clue about. It was a little bit uh, scary. And when people would ask me questions, I didn't know. Now I know, now I have the answers to most people's questions or I can at least point them in the right direction. But I'm just saying, lots of awesome resources that you can use instead of getting upset at the driver. There's nothing wrong with you asking the driver the question. No driver should get upset at you because you asked them a question. <laughs> it's just a little bit frustrating when people get upset because we don't have the answer to all of the questions, you know? That's all I'm saying. That's all. Let's just be friends and work together, okay? Yeah. Get some help.